don't know if you guys watched my last video where I was talking about my gear, but in that video, I was talking about lighting and how I wanted to get a new light. And it just so happens, l literally that day that I was recording anyway, Zion, June, however you say it, actually announced a new light. And I decided to pull the trigger on that one. The light that I'm talking about is this guy right here. This is the Molus 100. Now, this thing is powerful, to me anyway. It's a 100 watt light and it's portable. For me, that's something that I wanted in a light. I wanted something that I'd be able to take with me if I was going somewhere else. I wanted something that was kind of a key light if I wanted to use it at home. And Zion answered my prayers. So I got the Pro Kit and with the Pro Kit, it comes with the light, of course. Comes with a mini softbox, comes with a mini reflector, comes with the battery, the power brick, and a Bowens mount adapter. This thing is way more light than I needed, but it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So first thing is gonna be this softbox. Now, this softbox is dope. Like, I, I like it, it's, it's cool. Um, they have this thing called a ZY mount, which is something that Zhaoyun designed. And it's basically a Bones mount, but smaller for the size of this, you know? Um, I mean, obviously look at it, it just, it's in my hand. And then same thing with this. There is one issue with the soft box when you go to put it on, and it's not even nothing too crazy, but it will get annoying after a while. But when you put this on, right, and you twist it, let me see if I can get it to focus. And you twist it on, you see how I did that? It popped out, so now I gotta push it back down so it locks in place. Now, that's nothing too crazy. It's not, you know, gonna make or break it. It's just kind of a nuisance. But also, there's these little switches. So when you, when it locks on and you wanna take it off, you gotta hit the switch and then twist it. So this thing does fold down, pops open like that, and you just kind of put it together, and then it also has like a little strap so you can put it back together, right? So it makes it easier for packing. The diffuse on this is actually pretty, pretty decent, but before I do that, let me go ahead and turn this on and let you guys take a look. So here's the battery. So the battery is a 2600 milliamp. The only pain that I have with this is this little rubber grip on here, which is great. So if you're not using the uh, battery itself, if you're just having it plugged in, you can cover the battery hole. Um, but in order to do this, let me try to focus. There's a little button on the side. You have to push this over, right? And then take the whole rubber piece off like so pop it off right once it's popped off you just connect the battery right in and you're off to go I'm gonna turn this on I'm not gonna point it at the camera just yet because uh, it can get bright <laughs> so I'm gonna turn it down to 1% and then we'll go up so this is 1% and you guys are gonna get blinded, but let's go all the way up. Hey, look at that, I can see myself just blowing out right now. And this is at 100%. So I'm gonna take it back down. So right here we're at 1%. Um, you can change the Calvin. If you wanna go warm, it goes as low as 2700. If you wanna go cold, it goes as high as 6,500. Depending on you know your situation or your scene or whatever you're doing will depend on Calvin. Happy medium, probably about 4K. Let's go ahead and slap this soft box on real quick. Not too bad. If I wanted to just kind of hold it right here, got your nice little key light. Um, this is again on one percent at 4K. Not too bad for little little occasions, you know. Or if you just wanna get a nice little YouTube video, uh, this'll do. The kit also came with a grid. 
Now you can go ahead and put that grid on there. And there we go. Simple as that. Now you can control your light a little bit more. If you want it to just shine on just your subject, you don't want it to spill out anywhere or anything like that. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and slap on the reflector. Here's the reflector. I'm gonna shine it on make it like a spotlight. Let me see. see you can see the water heater back there. Um, let me turn it up a little bit. Look at that. Blowing it out. <laughs> I'm sure y'all love my blowouts. Now this is the coolest thing, and this is why I ended up getting it. Well, part of the reason uh, is this Bowens mount, okay? So let's say I wanna buy an actual like big softbox and connect it to it. All I gotta do is pop this on here, twist, and it's on, right? Now I connect it to whatever you know stand I'm gonna use, and then I can just put a actual softbox on here, like a, a, a big one. If I want to get one from Zion, or if I want to get one from Amaran, Aperture, or anything like that, newer, then all I do is just slap it on here and it, it's good to go. Or if I want to use the smaller softbox, all I got to do is pop this guy off, kick it off to the side, put the small softbox on, and just go out and shoot. Say I'm doing like a, a photography shoot, or just need like a little bit of light at night or going out, you know, taking pictures of my, my daughter. It's good to go and it's not gonna be blinding. It's not gonna, you know, it's gonna make it a little bit softer for me. Now you don't need the battery the whole time. Just pop it off and then that's where these come in handy. The brick plugs in down here at the bottom. All you gotta do is pop this off. You can either plug in DC or you can use a type C and run it off of that. Now, Zion recommends that you use this because of the uh, wattage that this produces. Obviously, it's a 100 watt light, so you, you're gonna want something that produces 100 watts. Zion says that power brick produces 100 volts to 240 volts. And obviously, with this being a 100 watt light, you want something that's gonna be able to power it. Now, if you're using a type C that can only handle like 30 volts or something like that, you're only gonna get 30% output on this. My suggestion is use what Zion, you know, produce for this. If not, you're not going to get its full potential. Now the battery, if you have this on and you have it set at 100% output, you're only going to get 30 minutes of time with this. Me personally, I don't see myself using a situation where I need 100% of this. Maybe if I'm trying to do like a bonfire shot or something like that, then yeah, I'll probably kick it at you know close to 100 but make it super warm so I can light up people's faces but even then I still I can't see myself using that now how does this keep cool it has a little fan in the back I don't know if you guys can see it so there's a little fan back there um, I've been playing with this for a little bit and I haven't heard it kick on yet so obviously I haven't been using it to, enough to get it hot but from all the reviews that I've seen and everything, it's it's quiet. You're not gonna really hear anything too too crazy. Other than that, I mean, it came in a pretty cool bag. Let me grab it. So you get a little carrying case so you can take with you. Just kind of throw everything in there and uh, off you go. A couple other little things that I came with is this little strap so you can hang it from you. I, I mean, I don't know a situation where I'm gonna be hanging the light from me, but you never know, could come in handy. Also, it has this bag. So this little bag, you can just kinda put your light in there. That even fit? I don't even know if this fits, man. That's weird. Let's see. Let's see. Does this fit? Ooh, it barely fits. I think they purposely did that. Barely, barely. All right, let me go through some of the specs after we've gone through all the stuff it comes with. Obviously, like I said, it's 100 watt. The Calvin range is 2700 to 6500. The cooling method is obviously the fan. It's called the active cooling. On the site, it says illuminance is 4300 Kelvin, 100% brightness, one meter, 3881. Now, what that means is at 4300 Kelvin, at the 100% brightness, one meter away, the illuminance is 3,881. So if some of you light nerds, you know, wanted to know that, I know the CRI index is 95. 
So it's gonna bring out, you know, good colors. It does have an app for controlling it via Bluetooth. So you can control your settings as in the dimming and the uh, color range, or not color, uh, temperature range, which is something that I'm gonna play with a little bit later today but I figured I'd make this video since I opened it. The weight on this is 385 grams, so it's super light. I mean, it's probably, I'd probably say close to about what my cell phone weighs. You can just toss this thing in your pocket and go if you wanted to carry it in, the, in, in your pocket. Charging time for the battery is about two and a half hours, so if you're on zero, it's gonna take about two, two and a half hours to charge. And like I said, it's only 30 minutes at 100%. So if you're running the, the light at 100%, then obviously it's only gonna last 30 minutes. Last but not least, at the bottom here, you have quarter inch holes. So you can mount it on anything that's a quarter inch thread. Now let's do some tests and figure out the difference between that ring light and this new light. I like the light. I think it was a wise investment on my end. It's gonna help me out. It's gonna be able to pretty much achieve anything that I'm trying to do. I do recommend this light. I will come back with a review on the app and just kind of let you know what the app is and what it's about. But until then, like, share, subscribe. Peace.